Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of petting this husky dog and soft speaking. Since I haven't done any soft speaking in a while, now I'm not sure if I have the mic set up correctly, but, um, it should be relaxing nonetheless. I haven't done much soft spoken yet, and that is because my voice tends to crack when I'm speaking at a different, um, well, at a softer tone, because I'm not used to using it, and probably because I've damaged my vocal cords over the years from yelling, which is something that I tend to do. So, if I sound a little raspy, it's because my vocal cords aren't what they used to be. But since I've gotten so many requests to do soft-spoken, I thought it would be nice to try it out with these new microphones, which I have in each of the Husky's ears, if you can see. So I thought I would just pet it a little bit and just try and do a massage video with the Husky. This is actually an NIU Husky that I got when I was in college. And I have a mini one as well somewhere. I'm going to be 26 years old and I still collect stuffed animals, so I'm pretty much still a big kid. And I don't know, I guess I just cannot grow out of that phase. If I see something cute, I'll buy it just because. And it will just sit, but it's nice to have anyway. I don't plan on having children, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them when I actually move out and find somebody to be with. Maybe I'll sell them at that point, or give them away to somebody who has children. As you can see, I'm in my room for today because my mother is outside in the other room and she will not go to sleep. And if you guys are curious as to why I'm still living at home with my parents, my anxiety really does not allow me to live alone at this point. And I really don't have anybody else to live with even if I wanted to, because I don't have many friends around here. Actually, I have no friends around here, but my goal is to eventually go to Canada, perchance, and live there somewhere, because I like the scenery, and I think it would be a great place to live. I think the people are very nice, and they're very, in my opinion, nicer than the people that live around here. I just don't really feel that safe around here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but 
when I was in college, there was a school shooting, and I think like five people died there. So it's just not a safe place to be with the guns and everything, and I know that Canada has stricter gun laws. I know it's not completely um, outlawed in Canada, but the gun murder rates and such is so much lower than the U.S. that I think I would prefer to live there. I also just like foresty areas and where I'm living right now it's just like a little city area even though it's not a city it's in Indiana and I don't know I just really hate it I don't really like a lot of the people around here it's because I haven't met anybody like me who has the same sort of interests as me. It's quite rare that I actually find somebody that I can relate to, even online, but it's a little bit discouraging and annoying that I'm not great at getting along with normal people. <laughs> And I know in this day and age, people like to say that they're crazy, or that they are, um, strange, but I must have a weird personality that I just cannot seem to get along with normal people. And I don't mean like, you know, like random, I don't know how to say it. There's some random people out there who are very random and into being goofy and saying goofy things, but they're not actually that different on the inside than anybody else, but I just am incredibly standoffish and uh, not talkative, and I just have strange ideas about things and takes on things. And I don't know why I'm talking about this on a massage video, but that's what I do. I tend to ramble into different places about myself. Um, I've always just wanted to live in a forest or something, but with my anxiety, I doubt that would work out very well. But hopefully I can get over that soon enough. And be able to actually live somewhere that I want to. My room is like a complete mess. So I'm sorry if it's distracting. I can't stand to look at white uh, walls, so I covered them with pictures. I even have posters on my ceiling. And uh, I know I mentioned dreams before in a past video, but I would actually have kind of like sleep hallucinations where I would wake up 
I have to sleep from a dream and see things in my room and I've seen my posters on my ceiling come to life and it's really interesting it really makes you think about the power of the mind and what's real and what's not I know those, they're not like uncommon I guess a lot of people have those types of sleep hallucinations where they wake up and they just aren't completely awake yet some people get sleep paralysis where their eyes are open and they can see things but they can't move so these sleep hallucinations are just like a little bit more than that where you can actually visually see things moving and you could interact with them kind of because you're half awake but I, I can always realize when I'm in those and I just sort of enjoy watching them I haven't had them for a while I think they're connected to ang anxiety and other stresses in the world but that's <laughs> more about me I know that this really did not do what I thought it was going to do the sounds are a little too subtle but the soft spoken part should be nice since I've never done that before and I may do more with these microphones anyway I hope it was enjoyable as usual and I hope you guys are having a good week